Welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I am back again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we are totally checking out the brand new Walmart exclusive Lennard Toys. This is their Alien Deluxe Alien Queen, a giant posable action creature. That's a that's a nice name for that. I like that right there. Always gorgeous artwork for these alien figures that Lennard puts out on the top side, the bottom side, sides, all the sides. Light and sound, alien posable queen. To be precise, this one has an internal jaw with some hissing attack action. And again, you can only start finding this now at Walmart. I got mine off walmart.com and they shipped it like two days. So that was like perfect, perfect stuff. But it is a repaint of the previous purple alien queen that we got, except this time around, they put some lights and sounds into it. And now you got a roaring red alien queen that also correlates a little bit with the comics. Back in the day, Dark Horse Comics with all the red aliens running around. A little bit of a bio, prepare yourself. The universe trembles. You get to know your xenomorph. <laughs> Egg to queen. That's actually pretty cool. You see is where to put all the batteries and all that stuff. Rib cage, disconnect the legs. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and grab it. And of course, there probably will be a lot of comparisons in Kenner Toys and previous Lenards and everything else in this video. This is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Walmart exclusive, the Lenard Alien Collection Deluxe Red Electronic Alien Queen. And yes, Queen, it's out of the packaging. Had to do that, sorry. She's looking all kinds of fantastic. Again, this time around, instead of being purple, we got ourselves a red alien genocide figure, basically. I like that Lenard is kind of touching. We did the movies. Now we can go maybe into Dark Horse Comics a little bit. That's actually kind of cool to see. And for 20 bucks, you really can't beat it. The sculpt is there. It's the basic of basic toys, but it is very cool. And when you've collected NECA and you have Kenner and you want something just a little bit more durable, maybe for the kiddos and you enjoy collecting the more adult collectibles and yeah give this to the kiddo or heck be like me and just have all the alien stuff so when you get new ones like this you can pull them all out and show them off into great detail but just fyi the tail does come as a separate piece it kind of becomes a pain to get it out i never want to break anything i don't feel like it's gonna break but on that offset chance yeah i don't really want to risk it but this is a very cool alien right you got the electronics in it love that screen it, you know for the most part you got the hiss down when ripley's blasting the alien queen like i said it does tend to make that noise a really high-pitched squeal almost like electronic noise so i'll give it to him and actually does work and work well so it's a nice electronic queen and if you're wondering, here's the comparison between the purple and the red. Not much of a difference except for colors and electronics, but you do get nice paint overall. The red queen has gold teeth as opposed to purple having silver. So that's interesting. At least there's some more paint apps here and there. That's always nice. Whereas you push down on the back of the purple headed queen. The thing I like most is that the jaw is articulated. So even if it's up or down, it doesn't stay open or shut. And same thing with this red alien. That's one thing about the Jurassic Park dinosaurs where I wish you could control the mouth a little bit better. This satiates both. You don't have a queen that the mouth is constantly open and you don't have one that's constantly shut. You get to choose and it just it looks cool even with the red light flashing in there because all the queens have alien red lights in their mouths right but the kenner stuff will work with these i think i think that they go really well this is why i tend to like this lenard stuff as much as i do if you've collected NECA, i wouldn't say just stylistically they don't go but it'll go in your alien collection and that's where i'm coming from is if you want something more simplistic or you're collecting NECA toys and you want to give something to the kids because they want to enjoy it too yeah this is a great cheap alternative trust me to <laughs> breaking a bunch of really expensive toys because kids will do that and ripley you know she thought she had it out one way with one, only one alien queen and now she's got to deal with two and then of course this is what's fun when you have all these new lenard aliens the real simplistic just all one color very basic marines everything else you put them all together and you know, they're fighting for their lives, trying to escape LV-42800 or whatever planet the aliens have taken over at this point. 
these days. But I would say going forward, Lennard, I would maybe put a little bit more into the Space Marines. New ones, something different. We'll just say that. But when you do have them all up against this new electronic Red Queen, yeah, that does look cool. I love that she can hold the Marines. She's sturdy. She's steady. There will at some point be a deluxe deluxe version with a couple extra aliens and a Space Marine and an egg. So that'll be coming probably around the $30 mark at Walmart sometime in the near 2021's future. But for the time being, this totally satiates my alien cravings. It's very cool to have. And again, for 20 bucks, yeah, you really can't go wrong. I'll you know, tell you all day, the purple one's still on the shelf. If the red one hits the shelf, you kind of have to go, well, the red one looks... The red one looks cooler and it's got electronics. I wonder what the kids are going to want to play with. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new Alien Red Queen. Is this something for you? Will it be added to the Alien Collection? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything aliens. And I am going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, sometimes you don't need overly detailed, overly thought out toys. You just need some... Good old-fashioned play fun, especially for the old shelf. I love this thing. That's awesome. This guy's screwed. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.